that's where we're headed. Becoming the EWTN party house. More people. There's Tom Candy. There he is. Our special guest star. <laughs> There's the goodies. This must be the brother with KP duty today. That looks fun. You're making a real exciting movie, huh? <laughs> we got it. We have our food. Feel older than you are, or feel older than you want to be. We have some plaques. First, Tom Kennedy had a few words that he wanted to share. Oh, Tom Kennedy? I didn't know that. I don't know. Remember, it's a few words. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you might like a little background on what got Mother started in TV. This <laughs> <laughs> it's not a few words. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll talk fast. <laughs> This goes back to 1978. Mother wasn't even thinking about TV in those days. And she had these mini books that she did, gave away free. But she needed money for the paper and the ink and the postage. And she'd go around giving talks in various places. And I lived in Chicago at, at that time. And we had Mother in Chicago to do for that very purpose. And while she was there, we had her involved in two TV programs. Mother remember this very well. One was with a Christian uh, television station that was run by the Baptists. And uh, while we were waiting for Mother to go on, she looks at this small studio that they had, and she said, uh, Tom, how much does something like this cost? And I said, I don't know, Mother, but I'll find out. And I asked them, and they told me 950000 to a $1 million. And Mother says, only 950,000. <laughs> <laughs> so so mother, mother went on, and she was interviewed by the Baptist. And when, when she finished, the Baptist said to her, Mother, if the Catholics don't invite you back, we will. <laughs> we had her on another, another TV program, and she went up, came across like gangbusters on that one, too. And Sister Joseph was traveling with Mother, and he was staying in our house, and after breakfast one morning, we were praying, and when we finished breakfast, Sister Joseph, who has the gift of prophecy, said, Mother, the Lord says, all this media is his, and whatever you need, we'll make available to you. And that certainly, certainly come true. Well, we thought that instead of Mother giving talks to small groups, it would be better if she could make tapes on TV and uh, spread the news to more people. So they, performed, they prepared a pilot tape, and Gene Morris, who just left a few minutes ago, took it up to uh, Pat Robinson's uh, 700 Club. And when Gene got there, they said, boy, we're really looking for somebody Catholic to put on. How soon can Mother have 60 programs? Here, yeah, Mother doesn't even have the first one. And of course, Mother steps out in faith and says, sure, she could have them in 60 days. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the beginning of our hermitage program. Remember that, Mother? Mother, Mother would sit in the chair and talk for half an hour on some subject of, the, of our Catholic faith. <clears throat> Mother said that the, it's, it's scary. All she'd have is the general topic that she was going to talk about. And she said to sit there and wait until that red light came up, comes on and not know what you're going to say, and then, and then start talking. And she had talked for a full 25 minutes or so. Some people told her, they said, Mother, you ought to stop halfway through because people need time. They can't concentrate for that long. They need time to get something to drink or else to go to the bathroom. But, and, and my mother said, the Lord gives it to me for 25 minutes, and that's the way that I have to do it, too. <laughs> now, she was making these tapes at a TV station here in Birmingham, and, and when they just insisted on putting on a blasphemous program on, on Jesus, 
mother decided to build her own studio. And you see what's developed since then. At the time, they had, they were on for four hours and they had a limited number of stations. I heard mother say, she said, I don't dare tell my crew what I'm planning. If I did, they'd all drop dead. <laughs> <laughs> or else they'd quit. <laughs> I think that may be true today if mother would tell her crew what she planned. <laughs> There he is, the walk-in historian himself, Tom Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here come the future brothers. <laughs> future brothers? Well, we're back. We went back to the brothers and got goodies. Get them while you can. Really? <laughs> you, want to, you want a piece? No. We have an overabundance of sweet and sugar stuff. <laughs> 